What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Observer. So, I'm gonna jump back into this game. Uh, I found out something interesting from one of my subs. Uh, the voice for the main character is actually done by Rutger Hauer. <laughs> yeah, I know. Pretty badass, huh? She's got a big old crush on him, so... <laughs> She's happy. She's very, very happy. A headless corpse laid in apartment 7. I don't know if I did. And Dana seemed the worst, but the murder seemed to be committed before I had a distress call. Queen to Hope, Dan heads back to the building's twisted hallways to find out what happened to his son. First order of business, find the woman who called the victim. Her initials are HN. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. Oh, uh, this is that stupid woman. Uh, no. This is Tom. And uh, <laughs> crap, go away. We Oh, we sure do. Sadly, we're not. But you can. Thank God that's over. What's up, Oh, it's a bird rat. What the hell was that? Oh, it's a pigeon. Okay, so we got to find something with the initials H N. Doesn't work. Number nine. Hey, PD, I need to talk to you. You broke it. No, you broke it. Nuh uh. Will you get these kids to shut up? I'm fucking talking here. <laughs> yeah, what's this about? Uh. Yeah. Do you know the tenant in apartment 7. Dad, Tommy's picking on me. <laughs> up, snitch. I thought I told you to shut up. 7, huh? Nah. Can't say that I know the guy. Okay, so it's a guy. Yeah, well, seen him once or twice. I might have a vague recollection. <laughs> Could you give me a vague description? Maybe. What's it to you? I'm KPD, bitch. Uh. My son might have been staying in that apartment. I'm trying to find him. Well, why don't you tell me what he looks like? I'll let you know if it rings a bell. We lost touch. It's been a while. Huh. Sign of the times, I guess. See, I'm a family man myself. That's why I said that. No, you shut up. No, <laughs> you. I swear, if you don't shut up this instant. Uh, yeah, I can tell. So, can you describe him or what? Young, probably in his 20s. Medium height, medium build. He wasn't very memorable. Okay. Uh, anything Have suspicious? You seen anything suspicious around the building? Any strangers skulking around? Nah, I don't pay much attention to the other tenants. Bunch of losers. A lot of. <laughs> dumb. Not as dumb as you are. Nah, -uh, you're way dumber. Shut the fuck up. You gotta There's love that. Standing citizens like you. You bet your ass. Good thing we'll be getting out of this dump soon. Ooh, where are you going? Is that right? Yep, I've been working my way up. I even filed for a status upgrade. Once that goes through, we'll be moving to a B-class district in no time. Yay. Yeah. Good luck with that. Dick. <laughs> Who is you? Hello? Can you help me with things? I don't know where we are. Wait, are we back in his apartment? Oh wait, what, what the hell? Oh wait, press the middle mouse button to hack. Oh, connection established. Oh, look at us doing the work. <laughs> Thirteen H N. Still looking for H N. The hell was that thing? Oh, I hear a lady. Come to the door, please. Just want to talk. Who are you? Did Chiron send you? What? I'm with the KPD, if that's what you're asking. Seriously? We haven't had a cop around these parts in... never. 
I guess. Well, you got one now. Yay! Yeah, good luck. You're gonna fucking need it. What? That's me. I'm trying to open the door. Uh, go. Janet to let the door open. What the hell? Uh, oh man, what is the, what's the buttons? Okay. Uh, night vision. What's you? Right there. No, right that thing. Come on. What the hell was that? Synchrosine refilled. Ooh. Uh, no. Wow, weird. Synchrosine collected. Cool, we're getting lots of that synchrosine. Uh, what was it? This one? Oh, what's this? The wall stands higher. Both boys and girls continue to defend us from the eastern hordes. Uh, uh, well, we greatly appreciate your exemplary service, the sacrifice you've made for your country, to be a writer in a proactive stance, and helping our brave veterans reintegrate into society. You guys can pause, read this if you want to. Please do not reply. Enough is enough. I'll find you and beat the fucking junk out of you. My mother can no longer take this shit. She's sick of telling you over and over that her husband, my father, died 18 years ago. She's moved on. We all have. No one wants to live in the past. I constantly relive the tragedy. Uh, Mike Jaroski is dead. He's been dead for a long time. Has some type of busted ass head of yours. Just fucking remember this time. Even if it's a toss up between us and remember when to take a dump because the next message you send her will earn you a broken fucking jaw. Your final warning. Alright. Okay. Uh, man, what was it? G H H H N? Uh. Of course. There you go. Two H Ns. Helena Novak, apartment 104. And Hannah Nader, apartment 106. Also on the same floor. 104 and 106. I can't click on those. Wait, what? Oh, okay, go back to the menu, exit the game. I don't even know what the fuck that is, but hey, we're done. Uh, we got everything we need here, I think. It doesn't... Look it out. Holy shit, dude! Scared, scared the crap out of me. Not a good idea to sneak up on me, you know. Need to get out. Uh, wait. I had to check the tenant register. Authorized personnel only. Well, I was in a hurry. And the door was open. Authorized person only. I police. police business. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what you are. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> During war, took one alive, sent for one. No few to get into his head. Oh, really? Uh, whoop. You fought in a war? Uh, if you're worried I'm gonna snap, don't be. They don't even let us carry guns anymore. <laughs> Not worried. Bust. Worry. Bust. Most things. You okay there, buddy boy? You fought in the big one. 
Is that why you got all this junk in you? Plasma sweep. Hit our convoy. Oh, I, I think he's gonna snap. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring back memories. Yes. Memories. Uh... What can you tell me about the tenant in apartment 7? Tenant? Yeah, tenant. How long has he been living there? Yeah. Maybe longer. Not good with time. You ever talked to him? Didn't get out much. None of them do. Oh. All right, ten men. Let me know if it comes back to you. Mm -hmm. Something triggered the lockdown. Mm. Trying to get it open. Rudy and I. Do you think it might be the nanophage? You had any recent outbreaks? No. Last one. Long time ago. Down by the river. All the implants. Bad. The implants. Was he sniffing me? Uh. Take it, Rudy, is the robot. Multifunction service and maintenance. Drone. Don't lose it. What? Mm, wonders of. Sometimes. I need to <laughs> track manually. Sweet. Uh, yeah. Can we lift the lockdown from the inside somehow? Or get a message out? No. Keep people in. Isolate, accommodate, alleviate. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we all know how that last one used to work. <laughs> Uh, what else do we got here? Oh, all right. I'm heading out. Can you give me full access to the building? Uh -huh. Assistance. Unstable. Unlocked. What I could. Cool. Thanks. You better stay here. There might be some very nasty people out there. Nasty. Huh. Bad. Yeah. Look, just stay safe. You know what? I never got your name. I'm Dan. Huh? Name? Janice. Like a Roman god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Sorry I gave you a hard time earlier. Good to meet you. Janice. You just called him anus. <laughs> All right, let's get the hell out of here. Um, okay, we can't go there. Oops. We'll go back up here. First floor, 104 and 106. Come on. Wait, this is the bottom floor. So we go. Door and lot. Remove your plant implant, maybe. Don't believe there lies the flag is still out there. No data. Undelivered mail with fire and sword. We're good. Okay. Now we gotta get to an elevator or something. What's this? Access granted. Oh, yeah, we already did this. Nothing there. Okay, so wait, maybe that um, big ass thing is open? This thing. Like, is this an elevator? <laughs> okay, wait. 
ground floor. Yeah, see, we need to go up. How do we get up? Uh, this doorway? Yeah, here we go. Now we're in business. Okay. Oh, I'm outside. Okay, I don't want to go outside yet. Hang on. There hey, we go. Yo! I can hear you out there. Help me, please. Ooh. Like this guy? KPD. I'd like to have a word. It's about time you showed up. What the hell is going on? Why are we under lockdown? I don't know. You told me. Most likely a malfunction. I'm still looking into it. Uh -huh. Well, you ain't looking in the right places. Because I don't know nothing. Noticed anything suspicious or unusual? Other than the lockdown, I mean. Well, a couple from 104 were making an awful lot of noise a while back. Oh. More than usual, I mean. The girl ran off. And then it got quiet. Did you see where she ran off to? I ain't one to snoop. But judging by the footsteps, I'd say she ran down to the courtyard. Oh. Anything else you can tell me about them? What? The couple? Don't know them that well. The girl seems nice enough. Not sure about the guy, though. Yeah, he's shady. Uh... What can you tell me about Amir? Yeah. Oops. I think he's called. He looks tough, but he's got the yellow eye, you know? Twitches like a junkie. Probably sells the shit, too. That bastard. How do you know that? What, the dealing? I see him sneak around during the night, carrying packages and stuff. I doubt he's the goddamn postman. <laughs> and what about the woman? Oops. What about the girl? Oh, she, she's a trooper. Works double shifts at Chiron to support that ex-con asshole of a husband. Oh. Any idea what she might be doing for them? Can't be too important or she wouldn't be living in this shithole. Explains the look on her face, though. What do you mean by that? Yeah, what do you Born mean? Fidgety. Jumping at shadows. Working for the corporation has that effect. I guess. Oh, do you know from experience there, sir? Does this kind of stuff happen often? You ever see a husband get violent? Nah, nah, he ain't a wife beater or anything like that. He's just messed up. Then again, ain't we all? Uh huh. Anything, anything else? else so uh, oh. ordinary. Anything at all? Mm mm. Well, other than some asshole bringing animals into the building, I'd say that's pretty much it. Animals? Yeah, I could, uh, I could swear I heard something growling in the hallway earlier. I informed the janitor, but, eh, he'd lose the plot midway through the talk anyway. Thanks. You've been very helpful. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> That's new. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> uh. Hey, PD. I'd like to ask you some questions. Certainly, officer. Always glad to do my civic duty. You seem pretty laid back. You do now the building is under lockdown. Well, yes, but there's not much I can do about it, is there? I mean, I'm sure the authorities are handling the situation as we speak. Come to think of it, isn't that why you're here? Nope. Uh... Well, you, you might be giving the authorities too much credit. Officer, please. It's highly demoralizing to hear that kind of talk from a man of the law. <laughs> now, is there anything else I can help you with? Touch my bum. Seen or heard anything suspicious lately? Neighbors acting weird? Actually, I did hear some noises coming from 104. Uh -huh. Then the woman stormed out of the apartment and ran off. This might be misdirection, though. Did you see where she went? Well, no, I didn't actually see her. I could smell her, you see. Smell her? Don't tell me you can't. That cheap crap she pours over herself, the entire hallway reeks of it. She probably thinks it makes her seem ladylike. Oh. I see. I got it. Thanks for your help. 
corpse. I could hear her panting too, moaning like the whore she is. Oh damn. Yeah. You judge it. Yeah, biggest fucking cock tease you've ever seen. Oh. Always toying with me, bending over when reaching for the lock, all naked underneath her clothes. She knows I'm watching too. She likes to make me itch, cooped up with that junky meathead. <laughs> what does he have that I don't? They're all like that, you know? Fucking mongoloid bitch. Now I hope she gets what she fucking deserves, so that she knows she's fucked up. She'll have no choice but to come to me, begging. But it'll be too late, you hear me? Too late! God damn, man. Uh... Okay, I guess pictures. Thanks for your input. Oh, uh, I, uh, yes, certainly, officer. Wow, talking about going off. Holy shit, dude. It fucked up. <laughs> uh, well, this is the elevator. Does it work? What's wrong, sir? Oh, I heard this awful noise. What's going on? There's been a lockdown. A lockdown? No. Oh, God, please, not today. Why? What's going on, dude? Uh. Well, what's so special about today? Yeah. I was scheduled to undergo a, a medical procedure. It's a private matter. I'd, I'd, I'd rather not talk He's about it. He's getting a penis extension. Do yourself. Um. Are you okay? Sounds like you're in pain. Oh, it's fine. I'm just... I got a, a condition. Oh, really shit, have... he's got the jeets. Um, whatever Anything you call it. I can do? The plague. <laughs> sure, if you're an expert in corrective surgery. Mm. Sir, I'm wondering if you've seen anything suspicious lately. I haven't seen anything in over 40 years. Uh, that's your condition. I, I, I really don't feel comfortable talking about it. Okay, that's fine. Fine, I won't waste your time then. Hey, wait, I did hear something. Quiet footsteps, deliberate, heavy breathing, angry, not hiding, hunting. Hmm, anything else? The smell. It seemed the... Uh, Oddly familiar. Reminded me of my childhood. Oh, your childhood? Yes. My family lived outside the city with all manner of creatures. When it would rain, the smell would be similar. Oh. Okay. So that's where we came in. We got a TV in the bathroom. What the hell is that? Leonard... Metsus, ne neural stimulant vendor, ready for disposal. Cause of death classified. Weird. Yeah. Nope, nothing there. Okay. Go this way, maybe? 104, baby. Door's already open. Anyone here? Oh, shit. Okay, hang on. 